As Lori finishes the sides, Representative Harrell gives her side on what should be done about health care. It's all happening right now on Live with Lori. Welcome back to Live with Lori. We're here with Representative Harrell. We've just taken our fish out of the oven. We've got some cut up vegetables, zucchini, uh, yellow squash, onion, uh, carrot, um, a few colored peppers, and we're gonna be stir frying them. But right now, this is the glaze part of the grouper. Um, and this glaze that we made earlier with the honey mm, and all the, all the, the good stuff. all the good stuff, we're just gonna spoon this over the fish and, you know, get it nice, just slop it on there. Uh, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna stick it back under the broiler. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna completely caramelize on this fish and it just is wonderful. Oh, it smells nice wonderful. And, nice oh, and yes. healthy. And yes. since we all wanna be healthy, let's talk about health care. Health care, yes. Is this not the big issue that this whole country is facing? What, you know, let's talk about Medicaid and the state of Florida and you know what 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 is hap what's going to happen i mean I, I you know i don't know this is one of the cr critical issues that the legislature is going to have to deal with this year and with of course the accountable care act with what has happened uh with the constitution the supreme court determining that this was going to be in place uh and also the election right. we have got to deal with medicaid and it's a key issue that we're going to have to address and what happens in the legislative session this year will may have a big impact. Because of the federal legislation, we're going to have probably 1.2 million new Medicaid recipients. How is that gonna affect our budget? I oh, mean, that's, that yes. is, um, that's a lot. That's a lot. Medicaid now consumes uh, more resources than K through 12 education. So that's the biggest part of our budget. It is the biggest that, part of our that's budget. A, that's a lot of money. A lot of money. That's a lot of money. And the result of the Accountable Care Act is going to put more people in Medicaid, and it's going to cost probably over the next five years an, uh, several billion dollars more. That's billion. 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 Billion dollars more. And although the federal government will pick up the beginning of it and will slide us into it by 2020, it's going to be over a billion dollars, maybe even $2 billion per year, additional money. How are we gonna pay for that? Very difficult, very I mean, difficult. You know, how, how are we gonna pay for that? I wish I knew. This is the uh, dressing that we yes. made earlier. So I'm gonna just scrape this right in here and I'm gonna have you toss this salad. Okay. While our oil is heating up, I've got a tablespoon of oil here that I'm heating and Oh, you need, need that, that back, don't you? Need that. So do you have any ideas about how we're going to raise this money? Well, I think the, for, there's so many issues that need to be determined over the next year in the legislature. We're going to have to start with the exchanges uh, and whether or not the state of Florida is going to put in place health care exchanges or we're going to let the federal government do it. Now, what's a health care exchange? A health care exchange is where individuals can go and buy private insurance. Okay. And it uh, will be on the internet, people will be able to access it, and it will also set the rules for who can participate in that. The, so, uh, so let, me get this, let me get this straight, because I'm, you know, I, I'm confused about, about, <laughs> about health care and what's going to happen with the new health care bill that's going into effect, and I, I'm guessing a lot of people are too. So, you know, I have health care, I like my health care, I'm good with that. Now, does that mean that I'm going to get to keep my health care, or are there only certain people that are going to get to help keep their health care, and I'm going to have to get something else? This is going to be an evolving situation, and uh, <laughs> I was not a supporter of the Accountable Care Act at all. I think there are much better ways to have done health care and have really made some major impacts in reforming health care, but it is the law, law of the land, and we're going to have to implement it, and the states are going to play a key role in that. Whether or not you can keep your individual health care will really be up to your employer. And if they decide it's cheaper for them to just pay the fine, the $2,000 per individual, right, or meet the requirements of the Accountable Care Act, uh, will be up to the employer and you may get dumped into an exchange. When you put bureaucrats in control of health care, which is the direction we're going, 
uh, then you, as the individual, has limited choices. Right. It right. makes it very difficult. So uh, it's going to be a very important session, and we are going to research it. We're studying it very carefully, and uh, there's going to be a special committee, a select committee, that will start to look at this before the state of Florida makes its decisions well, as to what they're going to do. I wish you all luck. Good I don't luck. know where it's going to go. We're going to need all the luck we can get to do it. Well, good luck with it. that. As you can see, we've taken our fish out. We have dressed our salad. We are stir frying our vegetables. And when we come back, we're going to be eating all of this fabulous food and asking Representative Harrell our signature questions. So don't go away. <laughs> Coming up next, Lori asks Representative Harrell her signature question when we come back on Live with Lori. <laughs> 